The Ebola virus has killed more than 1,000 people, most in Sierra Leone, Liberia and Guinea. There's now been a third death in Nigeria. The number of confirmed cases of Ebola in West Africa is nearing 2,000. The World Health Organization has allowed the use of experimental drugs to fight the outbreak. A vaccine developed in a lab in Canada is to be sent to West Africa. The Canadian government is donating between 800 and 1,000 doses of the vaccine, which has only been tested on animals. Officials suggest they'll be given to health workers. Liberia has received a small quantity of the experimental drug ZMAP to treat infected patients. There are no more supplies available. Drastic measures are being taken to stop the spread. Guinea, where the outbreak began, has closed its borders with Sierra Leone and Liberia. With people stranded, frustration is growing. In the Nigerian city of Lagos, there's been a third Ebola death. The first victim here was Patrick Sawyer, a Liberian-American man who shouldn't have been allowed to travel. This hospital is where Patrick Sawyer was admitted just after he arrived in Lagos from Liberia. He was already very ill with the Ebola virus. The problem is the people who helped him at the airport and the health workers here initially didn't know he had the deadly virus. The challenge now is making sure that all the people who came into contact with him are tracked down. That's a tough job in a bustling city of close to 20 million people. Nigerians are having to change their habits to stay safe. I mind what I eat. I don't like to be eaten in public places where the food may be contaminated. Around the world, countries are preparing for the worst. In Taiwan, they're carrying out a drill at the airport. In protective suits, they quarantined a dummy patient, gearing up just in case Ebola strikes. Will Ross, BBC News, Lagos, Nigeria.